Oh, it looks like they've added the Cold War beta tab here. Cool, did you really teasing me with this, man? Because we couldn't play it yet. Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So, of course, in today's video, we're still continuing the M13 gold grind. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I've said it way too many times. We're still trying to get mounted long shots, but mainly long shots. I only need about 40 more long shot kills, which is about like two or three ground war games, depending on if I go off or not. I've been using this reticle, the stealth bomber reticle. I also used it in yesterday's video and I actually really do like it compared to the default reticle. Usually I really don't care about reticles that much but this one's actually really really good. Also within the store Call of Duty did add this tracer pack skeletonized bundle. Finally dude a Halloween bundle. Leave nothing behind but bones. This is the tracer pack skeletonized bundle. The weapon is bundle changes to tracer fire to red. Oh so it's not really anything special it's just red tracer fire. You get this wages of sin assault rifle variant which I mean I thought it would look more Halloweeny dude. All it is is just red like the tracer fire. I thought they would have some skeleton bones in it or something because it's a Halloween bundle but I guess not man. But alongside that Call of Duty also did add this talent eagle eye bundle. You get this really funky looking talent skin that actually looks pretty sick. I know it's not Halloween or anything but that actually looks really really cool. It's like a ghillie suit but with feathers. You also get this marksman rifle blueprint as well as this SMG blueprint and I mean the design on both these blueprints are so much better than that skeletonized bundle one just because there's actually like designs on it. It's not just straight colors. Maybe this is the Halloween bundle. But anyways guys, before I get into it, if you guys could please give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to show support, I appreciate all of it. Support on the last few videos lately have just been insane, thank you guys so much for that, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the bell notifications for some more Call of Duty content like this. But anyways guys, let's hop right into it. Dude, how many times do I get this Verdansk Riverside map? Like this is one of the worst gravel maps, and of course I get it almost every single time. It's not as bad as one of the other maps though, because one of the other maps is literally a straight line. So with Call of Duty, they did actually release a screenshot from Cold War and actually showcases a new map. Honestly, there's really nothing to see in the screenshot since it's just a screenshot, but hopefully the map in that screenshot is actually one of the maps you can play from the beta. And also from the beta, if you do reach like a certain level, I think it's level 10, you do get like a weapon blueprint or it's like a weapons crate. I don't really know. I kind of open the blueprint. And also if you do actually just play the beta, you get an operator for the mobile version of Call of Duty. So that's actually pretty cool, especially if you play Call of Duty mobile. I'm actually really excited for the beta guys. Like, like the beta comes out in like two days. Like I'm super excited as you guys sort of start this video that they've added like that little tab in the menu screen to actually get us excited for the beta. You can actually start preloading the beta right now, which is what I'm doing. So maybe that's why this lobby's like laggy and everything. But like I'm super excited. Like I can't wait. Like the developers of Cold War keep tweeting out how different the beta is compared to the alpha and how much better it is. Apparently you can see like more in-depth stats on your guns within the beta. So that's actually gonna be pretty sick. I really do hope that they've changed some of the the maps around like Miami. That's probably like the only map I really want them to change around since in the alpha it was the worst map to play. The best map to play was satellite. Everyone liked that map but Miami was the worst and Moscow was just all right. Like you don't need to change Moscow. It was a decent map but I also really do hope that they've added new maps like the one within that screenshot they released. Like I don't know if that map's going to be a good map or anything but at least it's a new map. I mean as I said in yesterday's video they did actually release a beta trailer and they did showcase a few new maps so I really do hope that those are the maps you can play within the beta as well. Probably since so in the beta trailer but you never know until the actual beta comes around. I still don't know if they've added any new guns within the beta. Like the main guns I hope they add are SMGs just because I love SMGs. You guys know that. Plus SMGs just felt really really good in the alpha. So if they've added more SMGs for us to use I'll be super happy about that. NBA 2K21 actually released their next gen gameplay trailer. I'm super duper excited about that. Like the graphics just look insane. Like the graphics look so much more better compared to current gen 2K21, dude. Like it's actually unreal how much different they look. Obviously it's a different console, different engine and everything. I'm glad it looks so much better. Like it's actually kind of scary how real it looks though because when I first saw it, I was like, wait, are you sure this isn't like a real life trailer or anything? But it actually looks really, really good, dude. Like I'm honestly surprised. Now I just hope the gameplay and everything's good for 2K21. On next gen dude just because they've basically like forgot about 2k21 on current gen like they're not adding any new things into current gen 2k21 it's honestly just embarrassing like any bugs and stuff they just don't fix whatsoever like i really hope they keep adding new things i really hope they keep fixing the game and everything but we have to wait and see dude i'm pretty sure next gen comes out in like a month or so it literally comes out like i believe a day before or a day after cold war comes out so that's gonna be fun i don't think they're gonna have a next gen demo like how they did for the current gen it 
It'd be cool if they did so we can see all the new graphics and everything, but I really don't think so. Also, game four of the NBA Finals is on later today. Like, it's actually on super late, much later than usual, so I'm very sad about that. Just because I have to wait a little bit longer to see what the scores are or what the outcome is, but I'm super excited to see how game four goes. The Lakers are up 2-1 on Miami, but Jimmy Butler had an epic performance in game three, dude. A 40-point triple-double. I already talked about it. They do actually have Bam out of Bayer back, which is really good for Miami since he is like their star big. So I'm super excited to see how he goes. I really hope they carried the momentum over from game three to game four and actually tie the series because that would just be insane. Like, I'm super excited, dude. Like, I want to see if Anthony Davis scores like 30 points again just because he scored like 15 points in game three. Only because he didn't take as many shots, though. I'm super excited to see if Jimmy Butler can follow up his 40-point triple-double performance or if anyone else on the Heat can step up like Bam. I want to see how Bam does because that would be pretty sick. I want to see if he can lock up Anthony Davis. I'm actually very surprised. I don't think I've gotten killed by as many snipers as I have previously. I don't understand how I don't have so many long shots in a ground war game, dude. Like, I only had three long shots that game. Three! I swear I had way more than that, dude. I'm also not getting anything towards stripes, topper, or spray paint, so I really just hope Call of Duty brings back a really good long shot map, dude. Like, these season six mosh pit maps, I mean, yeah, you can get long shots, but it's really difficult. They really need to bring back Shoot House 24 7, dude. They should make that and Shipment 24 7 a permanent mode. But, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. So, of course, the Cold War beta comes out very very soon you can actually preload it right now but that's only if you pre-ordered the full game of cold war and of course call of duty would add the beta tab into the main menu to get us excited for it like they really tease us with that dude like every time i hop into mod warfare now i'm really just gonna want to play the beta but i'm super excited i say it like every single video but i just can't wait to see what improvements they've made compared to the alpha but if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to the channel to show your support i appreciate all of it make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the bell notifications for for some more Call of Duty content like this, and also for some Cold War beta content, that'd be much appreciated by me. But again, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. See you all in the next one.